excited to vlog today because we're doing something super exciting. I am hosting an epic Halloween party as a launch cookbook party. That's right, my new cookbook, Baking All Year Round, just came out and it has got recipes for all of the holidays, including my favorite, Halloween, so that's exactly what we're doing today. I have literally been up since five this morning, running around, setting up everything. I just wanted to celebrate this book with friends and family and make it extra special for them and I don't know, just share my love of Halloween and baking and all of these cute recipes with everyone. And I wanted to also take you along with me. So let me show you some of the cool things we have set up at the party and the yummy treats from the cookbook as well. You guys know me, so you know this party is going to be hashtag ridiculous. And to add to that, this is not even my costume. This is my pre-party costume that I wear when I'm running around. So stay tuned later in the video, I'm going to be changing into my real Halloween costume. Let me know in the comments below what you are dressing up like for Halloween. I am going to be a classic character who's a little spooky. If you like watching these ridiculous row vlogs, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to show support, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Okay, let me show you around really quick before people start to arrive. Soon we're going to have like caterers, the photo booth, the bartender, a tarot card reader. I've even hired a real vampire to greet people at the door. That's right. <laughs> Okay, let me show you around the yard. There are so many spooky spider webs and pumpkins everywhere. I set up over here a pumpkin decorating station. So if people just wanted to hang out and keep it low key, they could go over here and decorate their pumpkins. So we've got large pumpkins, medium pumpkins. These are actually called pumpkin pie pumpkins and then little small pumpkins. You can just decorate and bling them out. I didn't set it up as a carving station because I thought that could get too messy with everyone's costumes, but we've got a bunch of glitter pens, Sharpies, a paint pens, all these cute little stickers. Ah! Or you could customize them with a bunch of different like letters or like put your name on it or write Happy Halloween. We even have, what? They're bling spiders. Not just regular spiders in this house, we've got bling spiders. And oh my gosh, what? This is a unicorn pumpkin decorating kit I found. Cookie doesn't even know that all of her friends are coming over tonight, so she's just napping, lounging all day, and then as soon as the party starts, she's gonna light up. She's gonna be like, oh, people! And then over here, I have a bunch of these little light up boxes all over the house, and they have the hashtag baking all year round. I love these little boxes. I think they're so cute. And next to me, we have some skeletons lounging by the pool. One is in a pool chair and one is on the diving board. <laughs> you may have remember me setting him up in my other video when I was just starting to decorate for Halloween, but now there are more skeletons, more pumpkins, more cobwebs. The backyard is looking good now, but just wait till it gets dark because that's when it's going to transform. I have orange lights all over the trees and these pyramids have flames that shoot up the middle. It's gonna look so cool. My sister just told me that the photo booth is being set up, so let's head inside and I'll show you around in there and go check it out. Inside, I spursed it up since my last video and more cute, adorable light boxes. The candy bar is almost complete. I stayed up putting a bunch of yummy candies and then you'll see these open places. These are placeholders for the desserts from my new cookbook. For example, brain cupcakes. And we've left the book open so people can see the recipe and then the dessert will go here. And then here we're gonna have jack-o'-lantern cookie pops. And last but not least, bat truffles. Yum, which are caramel chocolate and peanut butter truffle all in one, so good. In this corner, I thought it would be cool if we had glow sticks if people wanted to wear them. So there's purple, green, and orange glow sticks that I'm just putting them in little vases over here. There's also a few little bracelets I found. How cute! At most of my events, I have fresh flowers, but this event, I have vases of glow sticks. These are gonna be super bright at nighttime. Look it. And then over here, I've got a little bit of Halloween candy. <laughs> oh, yes. This cauldron is so big, I could literally take a bath in it. Look at this. 
So if this candy isn't enough, the candy bar isn't enough, we also have some little bowls over here and over here by the entryway. This is the backup cauldron of candy. This is kind of, it's tucked away over here. In this room, Molly is setting up, she's blowing up balloons. We've hired a tarot card reader. So this is going to be where y'all sit down and get your tarot cards read. So Mo, is this your final Halloween costume? No. No, not yet. No, stay tuned not to yet. see Mo's Halloween costume. A little bit of a preview. A little bit of a preview. The headband is a hint. But you'll see. Yes. She's blowing up so many of these. I had some extra helium tanks in the garage, so I thought, why not use them? Let's make this a festive room. My sister's dog, Henry, she got this cute little t-shirt for him. Candy security. So he'll be guarding the candy. In the living room, we also have a Ouija board. Gotta test this out. Will I have a great time tonight? Yes. You guys saw it, that's what it said. Okay, I think most everything is set up. It's looking good. And now it is time for me to change into my Halloween costume because people are gonna start arriving soon. And I've gotta get Cookie into her costume as well. It is also gonna get dark very, very soon. And I can't wait for you to see what this place looks like at night. It is just totally transformed. I am now in my official Halloween costume and I absolutely love it. The sun is starting to set and you're starting to see the flames everywhere. Look how cool this looks. There's still a little bit of time. People are just starting to arrive. So I'm gonna go pop into the photo booth and take a photo really quick. Chicken yeah. tinga tostadas. It's so good. Look how cute Mo is! <laughs> she made this costume. So Mo, what are you if these don't give it away? I am a little disco ball and the bump is the ball. I love it and it's so themed because you and your hubby, he's like a disco dancer. Oh my gosh. Wait, come yeah, here. He oh my got, gosh, yes. You got the Look whole suit. You gotta he has do the this. Gold chain. A little bit of that. A little bit of little this. Bit of this. I'm feeling it. Too cute. I'm dead. I'm dead. And we have Steph, who's a dark angel. I love this look. Thank you. It's like dark angel future. I love your look. The Thank hair, you. amazing. This is so fun, except for these nails. I'm useless. Yeah. Three, two, one. One. So Jordan, what did you dress up as today? A washed up YouTuber. <laughs> Jordan didn't dress up because he dressed up his car. Let's go check it out. This was a hundred percent DIY, okay? It's not that much, but I will tell you, I went to Michael's, I bought the vinyl sheets, I hand no. drew on the little the bits of everything, I sliced it with an exacto knife, there's a pumpkin on the hood, and it works. Jordan, we are proud. Thank this you. is Halloween spirit. Guys, I wanted to show you the vampire that I hired. He's a real vampire. So when you open the door. <gasps> Hello, welcome to this house. Come on in. <laughs> welcome to this house. Welcome, yes. <laughs> Come on in. Hi. Look what we have here, a black deviled egg. Perfect, matches my outfit. Mm. So what I'm gonna have you do is with your left hand, go ahead and just cut the deck once for me whenever you okay, feel just like, like it's ready. This. We'll just see what comes okay. up for you. So right in the center, it looks like you definitely have your hands full. This card has to do with being of service, giving back, and just giving so much of yourself right now. And what's crossing you is the Wheel of Fortune. I think that's why you're feeling like this energy right now, because the Wheel of Fortune is one of the best cards in the deck. So this means all your dreams are coming true. It's like everything is happening all at once. Yes. And so it's very overwhelming. Yes. But also embrace it and say thank you for it and feel that gratitude, because this card is like, happening right now, especially the next three months for you in terms of a lot of blessings like piling up. Whoa. Yeah. 
Are you in a relationship? Yes. Okay, this is a strong relationship. Yes! Yeah, the cups have to do with overpouring of love and feeling very connected um, on all levels. And so feeling that passion and that soul connection. So that's, that's like the base of your relationship, which I love to see. Over the next couple years here, I see you taking claim. This is kind of forging. Ooh. The sword has to do with cutting through any kind of BS. Love. So just I like, love this. No more drama. I love this. It's just like getting really clear and not letting anyone or anything stop your focus. So really, I love this. that's a strong career card. I think relationship-wise, things moving to the next level. Um, I definitely see you diving deeper with your creativity. This has to do with fulfilling all your cups and feeling very satisfied by that. Final outcome for you is Queen of Pentacles. This is what you're becoming. You're allowing yourself to go to the next level evolution-wise. <gasps> and so this is providing for yourself and others. I love that. That's Possibly what I want to children. do. Ooh. This is, I see a lot of transformation for you over the next three years. Wow. A bunch of people started to arrive, but we've got some awesome costumes. OMG, you guys are adorable. Please introduce yourselves, and what are you dressed as? I'm Hermione. And I'm Harry Potter. And this is our three-headed dog. <gasps> She's very vicious, as you can see. This is the cutest dog costume. I mean, what about this dog costume? Oh my gosh, okay. This is Sir George. Our dog. <laughs> And, oh, and, and the other He's watching me. George. He's watching me. And I am a life-size chew toy. I love it. <laughs> and, and, and Sir George is Sam, and he has a pixel. You see? A pixel, <laughs> pixel three. Yeah. One happy fun. Scariest thing you've ever seen. <gasps> three, two, one. Please introduce yourself. And what oh, are you dressed yeah. as? Oh yeah. I'm Madeline. And um, I'm Power Cord from Fortnite. Love. And I'm Jimmy, and I'm Raptor from Fortnite. You guys are killing it! This is so cool. I was hoping to Fortnite costume. It's my favorite costume I've ever dressed up in. Oh, yeah. You look incredible. Thank you. Jen. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh my god! Jolly, you're like a magical mermaid! <laughs> you look incredible! Oh, oh my god, god. I just pulled it out of my closet. What are you talking Laura? about? Yeah, the <laughs> worst product. Yes, yeah, Miranda Priestley. You're fired. Oh. <laughs> Where's my coffee? Did you die or something? I would be honored. If you fired me, you look, look amazing. Gorgeous, I don't I'm, 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 The height difference Girl, is I got, real. I got my kitten heel on, and that's Ooh. way too much. Six inches or nothing. <laughs> I should have done a bigger heel. What Whoa. am I doing? Amazing costumes. Please, for camera, introduce yourselves and who are you dressed as tonight? Hello, it's me, Joey Garcetta, and I am dressed up as a gorgeous mermaid. And I am Miranda Priestley, Jebor's Prada. Yes. You look beautiful. We gotta do. Oh my shirt. I know. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Rebecca looks amazing. I Unicorn, and I switched my shirt to one that said unicorn because it was hot out. <laughs> so I'm really a unicorn if you're confused. Just read my it. shirt. <laughs> so much glitter, so yes. much glam. So much. And a wig. I've never worn like a wig. I have a wig too. I kind of love it. I love it. You have to do your hair. It's a little tighter. Yeah, yeah, it definitely it's snug. Tight. I've got some bobby pins in. I whip my hair back. Wow, 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 yeah, I did wow, the test. Wow, wow. My heart is so full right now. Please introduce yourself. So what are you dressed as? Hi, I'm Maria and I'm Rosanna. And this is Cookie. <laughs> I'm Kimmy and we're Kimmy. Kimmy is quite stylish. These two pull off the most amazing looks. And look at this little tag. And it says Cookie right here. <laughs> To the property sisters. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying to decide who was gonna be Drew and who was gonna be Jonathan, but we couldn't decide, so we'll just leave it up to you guys. Yeah, Wait, we too. We'll just leave it up. Please that. show us what you got going on with these costumes. So in your tool belt, what's there instead of tools? Well, I didn't have any tools except this drill, but I've got phones galore. Oh my goodness, look at these iPhones, phones. Wait, I have phones, a hammer? Oh, and you have a hammer. A stud finder. You know, just in case we're gonna get wild. Anthony is looking amazing. Anthony, tell me about this costume, this hair. 
I am a little someone known as AC Slater. Mario Lopez in the 80s. I've been growing my hair out for 10 months just for this. Just for this, I shaded my abs. Yeah. I'm also yeah. constantly flexing so no one can know the truth. <laughs> yes? by the Bell, one of my favorite shows growing up. Can I have a, I have a secret. Yeah. I am not a Saved by the Bell fan. Not at all. I, I've seen like one episode. But growing up, my entire life, my mom told me she thought I was going to grow up to look like Mario Lopez. Uh -huh. So I feel like I just had to and my hair was the perfect length. So I was like, I had to. This is for you, mom. Please love me. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? Star Wars is in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, will you introduce yourself and the costume that you are wearing? Yes, I'm Veronica Merrill and Woo! I'm a Sith Lord. I love it. The look is amazing. Thank you. I'm Aaron. I'm a confused Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Vanessa Merrill and I am a Jedi. Good Jedi. A good Jedi. The good We're actually Jedi. literally We're like opposites. opposites. Oh, look, we match. Just any Beanie Baby. I am the 1997 Princess Diana commemorative Beanie Baby, which I'm told is the rarest and most expensive collectible Beanie Baby. So I was like, if you're gonna be a Beanie Baby, you have to be. You gotta be the best Beanie Baby. The cream of the crop. Yes, I got a collector's item. Yeah. If you've got a costume that you'd like to show off, or if you'd like to witness some awesome costumes, come on over here. Everybody's costumes are looking good. Colleen's is looking good. Yes. Super pregnant. The new yes. superhero. <laughs> he dressed up his car. The car is orange. I DIY the jack lantern though. I'm very oh, proud. Yeah. This is also DIY. We have some felt, hot glue, and uh, sequin fabric to make a disco ball. Hi guys, I'm Roseanne and I'm super excited because we're gonna, this is my dog, Cootie, Cootie, Cootie. And this is our new cookbook. <laughs> I'm an overgrown mouse. Uh -huh. I've been at the gym for a long time. So. This is Sir George, and this is Sam, and then I am the chew toy. <laughs> We're the property sisters. So why do you have 12 phones in your utility belt? Oh, we don't need to talk about that because it's iPhone season. Oh, what a beautiful thing I'm wearing. I am a monarch butterfly. <laughs> about it. I'm just a <laughs> Joey, you wow. are so magical. Please explain your Halloween costume. Well, Tell us just, about it. She's just a gorgeous mermaid. She just <laughs> found her way on land and she arrived at the party. Yes. Feeling gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> so Nothing gorgeous. Else say, <laughs> adorable. So, so if you guys wanted something adorable tonight, you've got it. Yeah, I'll, I'm giving out free hugs all night because this is really soft fabric. So if anyone needs a little nap. Oh my goodness. Oh. Am I going to get fired? <laughs> Daniel, tell me oh. about this. I'm Miranda Priestley. Of Some course. of you may know me from the Devil Wears Prada. I'm editor-in-chief of Runway Magazine and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Power Cord. And I'm Raptor. Hello. Hello, my name is Hermione. My name's Harry Potter. And we just stumbled across the three headed dog. She is so vicious, beware. I am uh, the Riddler this evening. Yes. And I have a riddle for you. Oh. How do you know when you've met a ninja? How? The Grim Reaper will tell you. Or you can just look right over here for our friend the ninja! Yay! I'm Ninja. I stream on Twitch. Flew down from the con because Rose is a, a homie of mine. First place is a KitchenAid that looks like Halloween, which is great. It's like a black matte KitchenAid sandwich. Very cool. And it comes with a DVD, I didn't know they still made these, of Hocus Pocus. Yeah! So. It's the best movie ever made, Michael, so wow! <laughs> For runner-ups, we have three vampire wines that have little capes on them. Aww. This is based on cheer. One, two, three! Woo! 
Is there a reason my coffee isn't here? Did she die or something? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Sounded fairly loud. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, well, I think the winner was pretty clear in that it was Daniel. <laughs> So here you go, you have to carry this for the rest of the evening. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. All my friends and family, this means so much to me. Um, we just launched our second cookbook, and it was a labor of love. It took over a year and a half. And I'm so proud of it, and I love you all. And I couldn't think of a better group of people to celebrate with. This is seriously one of my happiest memories of this year and all of the photos that we're taking over there I'm literally gonna make a scrapbook and when I'm 80 I have this like image of all the things that I'll remember and I think tonight's one of those nights so I just want to say thank you so much for being here and I'm trying not to ruin my makeup. I love Halloween. I love all of you. It's one of my favorite holidays and um, thank you for coming and celebrating this moment in my life with me. I really, really appreciate it and I love you so much. I'm sorry I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Happy Halloween everyone! Hello ladies, would you please introduce yourself and talk about your costume. What are you wearing tonight? I am Andrea Russett. I am a skull. That's about it. A spooky skull. I know, I'm, I'm pretty lazy. I love it though. It's thank like, this outfit but I once I put it on I was like okay I think I'm gonna be atomic blonde you know or like a blonde Mrs. Smith or something like that you know we, we got a gun here very fierce over here look at this adorable couple Hi. I feel like this is the most beat the night reunion I've seen so many people here all right so please if anyone's not familiar please say your name and who is your dressed as tonight hello this is Tyler, and we are Angela and Dwight. From the office, you guys. <laughs> you guys are pulling it up. I am hanging out with this beautiful lady, Lindsay. Now, you, your costume is dressed and gorgeous. Tell me about it. Actually, this costume is very special to me. This was one of my costumes from Dancing with the Stars. I knew I yeah. recognized it. I knew it. It's very extra. dress from the show and so it's very special to me. Reminds me of my dancing days. Princess Peach just jumped out of a video game. Um I don't Candy. know how she talks. Is she high pitched like this? Hey, I don't know. Like, it's Kitty. Hello! I am Candy Johnson that does not normally look like this and I am Princess Peach. Total look, look at her. the size of this you guys. Have a peach purse. May I say, Roe looks striking in the dark hair. I am I really feeling these dark butts. And the nails, I've never seen you with long nails. Are they real? No. Oh, they look so real. Yeah. You did such They're a good job. Like, I glued them on. Really professionally, may I add. Thank you. <laughs> may I present may Rosanna Henskano? She's wonderful. Go. You look wonderful. Look so cool. to her. Look who I ran into. The beautiful woman. I'm so excited. Okay, Lauren, so for anyone who isn't familiar, please introduce yourself and what is your costume tonight and how did you come about it? Okay, hey guys, what's up? I'm Lord DIY and tonight I am Ariana Grande, a Circa <laughs> Dangerous Woman acapella. Yes! Yeah. Look at this! I am getting Dangerous Woman vibes and I love yeah. it. I'm here with two lovely ladies. Alright, please say your names and what is your costume tonight? <laughs> what's up guys? I'm Tila Dunn and I am a Ghostbuster! Yeah, she is fighting ghosts! I am fighting a ghost. <laughs> I ran into another lo 
lovely lady. Please introduce yourself and what are you dressed as tonight for Halloween? Oh my gosh, well, thank you. Hello, I'm Remy and I'm dressed as Princess Jasmine tonight. <gasps> I love it. I think it's perfect. Thank you. Long dark hair. Thank you. And you're so tan. It's so beautiful. It's a lot of self tan, but thank you. Wait, did you make this? <laughs> no, I bought this all from Amazon. Really? <laughs> Shout out to Amazon. Oh my gosh, it's looks well, beautiful. Thank you. Like, this looks custom. I appreciate it. Thank you. I think I actually got this from Amazon. Amazon's the best. Look who I found. It's Molly. Bird. It's a little blind mouse. I love your costume. So she came with Gallup and a friend. Who is your friend? My friend is Josiah, and the three of us dressed as the three blind mice, but currently Adorable. I'm too blind to find my other mice. So it's just I'm me. I'm right here. Oh, 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 I found one of my mice. Yeah. She missed the Halloween costume, but What's, I told her that she would be Molly, the finalist. <laughs> Molly, could you just let me step off? She's the fake blind person. They but I'm actually, I actually do drop things more often than you. He spills food more often than me, which is why he was the perfect third blind mice. Perfect. But we missed the costume contest. Missed the costume contest, but I definitely think Molly would have been a finalist, hands down. Hands down, if not a winner, because... Move aside, Joey. Move so aside. Good. Oh, oh. The party just ended. We are winding down. Cookie had a great time at the party. She's getting a little snoozy and she's wearing the costume that you guys chose. She's wearing the French toast costume. This was the most voted on costume for Halloween and she loved it. She had a blast. So did I. A big thank you to all my friends and family who came tonight. It was super special and so much fun and I hope you guys enjoy my new cookbook, Baking All Year Round. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to show support, subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Now I'm going to tune into this Ouija board and see which video I should make next. Hmm. Or maybe I should ask you guys, what kind of video would you like to see next? Bye you guys and happy Halloween.